Welcome. There's a popular story out there about one of the world's most famous mathematicians, Carl Friedrich Gauss. It is said that he was a young lad, either age 8 or 12 or 14 or something, depending on who's telling the story. He was given a particularly uninspired math teacher one day, who was not feeling like teaching and said, OK, I'm going to read a good book and just keep the kids busy. I'm going to have them add the sums, 1 plus 2 plus 3, all the way up to 100. So he started writing this on the board. And as he was scribing this on the board, apparently young Gauss said, excuse me, sir, how high are you going? And the teacher said, I'm going to go all the way up to 100. In which case, said Gauss, the answer is 5,050, therefore foiling the teacher's plan of having a good day of just sitting back and reading. So the story usually goes that Gauss figured out a clever way of computing the sum, uh, usually this way. People say, let's give it a name. Let's call it S for sum, say. And if you write the same sum backwards underneath, Obviously, it's going to be S again, plus 2 plus 1, it would also be S. But if you sum these two together column-wise, you see 1 plus 100 is 101. Another 2 plus 99 is another 101. 3 plus 99 is another 101. In fact, every column is going to be 101. And of course, it has to equal S plus S, twice the sum we want. So how many 101s do we have? Well, 100. So 100 101s is twice the sum. So half of that must be the sum. That's 50 times 101. That's 50-50. Um, some people might say that Gauss actually came up with another method. He called the rainbow method, which is very popular. If you look at the first and last terms, they add up to 101. The second and second to last term add up to 101 again. The third and the third to last term also add up to 101. Um, you can do it that way. I get confused what happens in the middle. I personally don't have the hang of that one in my head. But what I do have in my head is actually a different approach entirely, one I actually really like a lot. I tend to be a visual person. I guess I would have been a happy ancient Greek who liked figure it numbers. I like dots and counting dots. So let me show how my brain works for getting the sum of the first, say, 100 numbers. But let me do a smaller picture first. Here's a picture of a 5 by 5 square. I claim it's a picture of the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, looking like what I want, but going back down again, 3 plus 2 plus 1. But if you look at the diagonals, here it is. There's 1, there's 2 dots, this diagonal makes 3 dots, this diagonal is 4 dots long, this diagonal is 5 dots long, Four dots again, and we're going back down, three dots, two dots, one dot. So this sum is actually all the diagonals of a five by five square. It uses all 25 dots, so the answer must be five squared, 25. But the reason I like that, because I see the kind of sum I want in the first part. The second part almost has what I want. The sum of one up to five again, but it's missing the first five. So let me add five to the sum. If I add five to the left, I bet add five to the right. So now I see twice what I want is actually this, which means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is actually 5 squared plus 5 divided by 2. Well, let me go to the Gauss story. How does my mind do the Gauss story? Well, I think, I think the following. Well, let's take the sum up to 100, but then let's go back down again. That's 98, all the way back down to 3 plus 2 plus 1. Well, in my Greek geometry way, that's obviously the diagonals of a square. What size square? Well, it's 100 by 100 square, so that sum must be 100 squared. The first part is what I want, what Gauss was hoping for, the sum of the numbers 1 through 100. The second part is almost what I want, it's missing 100, so let's add 100 to both sides. 100 to the left, 100 to the right. Therefore the sum I want must be half of this answer, 2. And I believe that that's exactly what we had before. In fact, I factor out 100 from the numerator, I see it's 100, it leaves 100 behind, plus 1 behind, all over 2. Yep, it is indeed 100 times 101 over 2. In general, this approach is, we'll give the answer to the sum in the title, sum of numbers 1 to n. Let's go from 1 up to n and back down again. That's n squared. The second half is almost a repeat of the first half, so I'm missing an n. Let's add an n to both sides. And then I get double what I want, so that sum must be n squared plus n over 2. That's how my brain works. I guess I'm a visual kind of guy. Thanks very much.